All right, welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I am your host, Scott Bernstein, along with my co-host, partner of crime, uh, the Dr. Jimmy Bugelato. Hey, now. Uh, we're going to do a, a real quick hitter edition right now. Uh, three to five minutes on Richard Whiteboy Rick Wershey, uh, another subject that uh, I've spent quite a bit of time researching, reporting on, writing about. I was involved in the Hollywood film White Boy Rick back in 2018 with Matthew McConaughey. I was also involved in the documentary on White Boy Rick called White Boy that's on Netflix right now. And news came out uh, related to his $100 million lawsuit that he filed against the city of Detroit, Detroit Police Department, FBI, and U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southeastern Michigan District, um, seeking damages from his two years undercover as a teenager uh, for a federal drug task force back in the 80s, uh, working some of Detroit's most notorious African-American drug gangs. He was recruited out of eighth grade and paid to go be a a drug mole. Did 33 years in prison and now is looking to to, to get some type of restitution or uh, reparations uh, and because of the statute of limitations, federal judge this week tossed the case out. It's been in the court system for about two years. Uh, Jimmy, any uh, any thoughts? Well, the, the statute of limitations, I mean, isn't that, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, obviously, but isn't that unfair considering he was in prison? Like, he yeah, wasn't well, really a, able to muster this kind of. Yeah, the squirrel, yeah, <laughs> right, the, right. The, uh, you know, money. Right. I yeah. it. It was to me. It was kind of a hail mary uh, from from the jump. I think there was some immunity uh, issues in terms of suing the government. I think there would be an issue with the fact that he got paid. Um, he was paid, right. and that not just paid, but paid right. handsomely. Uh, he made, I think, over forty thousand dollars in two years. Back at a time when a DPD officer was only making fifteen k a year, he made more than an average Detroit police department officer as a 14 and 15 year old working undercover for them. Now there are tons of moral and ethical implications there um, about why that, why this would be allowed. Um, But it was, it seems like there should be some accountability. Yes. But uh, according to the judge uh, this week, he had until 2006 uh, to bring this case, and he brought it in 2021. To your point, I don't think he had the resources yeah. back in 2006 to bring a right. case. Right. So that definitely cuts against him. For people that might not know, uh, you know, White Boy Rick was a a, a phenomenon in in Detroit in in the late 80s. Uh, a teenager, a white teenager in an all black Detroit underworld. Uh, wearing mink coats and gold chains and running around with the mayor's niece uh, was the right-hand man to a a very infamous drug lord, Johnny Curry, and uh, was a guy that was sitting front court at all the Piston games, VIP at all the clubs. Miami Vice, 21 Jump Street did shows inspired by him, and he was only 16, 17 years old, you know, the media – Media love. He, he went viral before everybody anybody knew what it meant to go viral. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a big deal. And then he got locked up in 1988 uh, based on just a traffic stop. Uh, he had broken off his relationship with the government a couple months before that. wasn't on their payroll anymore, but he he knew too much, and um, it got locked up in 1988 as an 18 year old. Didn't get out until he was uh, in his 50s. But uh, he, he's not going to be seeing any money right now. That he, he was seeking hundred million dollars, and, and 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 it's been thrown out. He's got his own weed business that I think is doing pretty well. A legal cannabis called the Eighth. Um, Does he have any other legal recourse after this? After it's tossed out, is, I don't believe so. Any any other way like he I can? Think this is the, the end of the line in terms of seeking that that type of accountability. Because I know I understand the argument that he was compensated, but. I back to your point about ethically and 
maybe this doesn't matter legally, but certainly ethically, he was a teenager. Like, I mean, it seems to me like he shouldn't be held to the same standards of accountability. Yeah. <laughs> There are a lot. There's a lot to unpack. We 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 we'll, we'll try to maybe do a full episode on yeah, this yeah. case at some point. We this have an audio episode on it, by the way. Yeah. people can listen to. But so, uh, you know, we just wanted to give you that information. Um, White boy Rick, hundred million dollar lawsuit, hundred million dollar lawsuit, tossed out of court this week. Won't be able to get damages for his thirty, uh, thirty three years in prison after working for the government right out of eighth grade, and uh, you know it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it happens and. Jimmy, uh, we'll see you uh, on another uh, long-form episode soon. For Jimmy Bucciolato and Benny Behind the Glass, I'm Scott Bernstein. OG Pod out.